Well, a high school volleyball player in Broomfield has been sidelined, and her family says it's because of chassa rules they don't think are fair. For a long time, we know, the pandemic pretty much made it impossible for student athletes to play their sports. Our Sean Chitna is live tonight with more on what's keeping that volleyball player from joining her new team. Sean? Well, Jim, Morgan Anderson and her family say that they came here and transferred to Holy Family High School because they wanted the advantages of in-person learning, a decision they made earlier this year when it was unclear what it was going to be like at so many other schools. And while they believe that was the right decision, they're still disappointed tonight that she was unable to get that chance to play volleyball at the varsity level. Yeah. Nice, Mo. Morgan Anderson knew at a young age she loved volleyball, focusing on it in middle school and playing for multiple teams now in high school. It's frustrating that I can't play right now. Um, it's kind of hard to understand as well. She transferred to Holy Family High School this year. Her family says they knew about the Chassa rule requiring a player to sit out for 365 days before playing for a new team, but were disappointed to hear that now a full season needed to pass. I just want to play and make friends and get involved with the new school. It's Chassa said in a statement to CBS4 it didn't want to comment at this time, but last year they gave their commissioner the power to be flexible on waivers. It's bringing attention to it and trying to draw attention to the fact that this is just not the way we want to treat kids at this time, in this situation. They've just, they've gone through enough. Morgan is ready to get back on the court and connect with her new classmates. I want um, another kid to not have to deal with what I'm dealing with and um, know that it's okay to transfer if one school is not working out for you and you should be allowed to play the sport that you want to play. And we asked Chassa how many more cases are out there like Morgan's. They haven't been able to get back to us, but her family certainly believes there are other cases just like hers. Now, it is worth noting that here at this school, Holy Family High School, Morgan is one of 47 kids who transferred this year because of the interest to be in in-person learning. Chassa did tell us, though, they have received more than 1,000 requests for a waiver for anything related to student eligibility. Reporting live tonight in Broomfield, Sean Chitness covering Colorado First.